Hello guys, today I'm going to show you I'm going to show you my FM transmitter. This transmitter I have built last night is a very basic transmitter and it is a very simple design. You can see I have powered it with two triple size batteries and actually I have used this remote as a battery holder. You can see the circuit there is this this is the tank circuit and this is the microphone. This microphone is very sensitive and the whole circuit is very sensitive and you can even hear very um, uh, it is a, a very less sound also and you can see this I have this circuit explains that when we are beginning with FM circuits or RF circuits you really do not need to worry much about the placement of the components the ground plane and basically the values of resistors and capacitors that you use in them you can see that the tank circuit but one thing you have to keep in mind is that in the tank circuit you have to use the given resist uh, given values of components only because this tank circuit uh, defines or um, this tank circuit uh, should uh, always give out uh, the perf the perfect frequency that you want and see you can see in this breadboard I have just made it so sometimes in some websites you can find when you are going to build a FM transmitter in some websites they say that um, you should not make an FM transmitter in a breadboard because the breadboard the RF link uh, leaks okay but that is fine it leaks that's true but you can actually make but um, for when you're beginning you are not going to make it on a um, PCB because you just have to make the prototype at the first. Now you can see over here. This is the tank circuit. This consists of one uh, variable capacitor that is two to twenty-two picofarad, and this one is a thirty-three picofarad capacitor, and this is the inductor coil. You just see over here how I have made this inductor to inductor coil. Okay, fine. This is the coil, and this wire goes down till there. This coil, this one, this wire goes down till there. Some also suggest that um, we have to strictly use the inductor coil just like that without uh, having such an extra wire. But at the beginning, it all just it, it is all just fine. This is the microphone. I have grabbed it out from an old telephone and you can see these capacitors these capacitors are standing and they are um, um, so they might be RF loss also but still we don't want to this is a beginning circuit so we don't want to make it make things complicated or uh, yeah there is scope for improvement we can improve them we can make this thing in a prototype oh sorry in a PCB and this is the antenna you can see this is the antenna and this antenna is a 10 inch long antenna and uh, the range of this FN transmitter is around 30 meters uh, inside a building so now I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, how this transmitter transmits for this I'm going to play music in my computer and you can see this I have a mobile over here it is an FM receiver you can see Right now it transmits at 91.20 megahertz. Okay. Now let's play music over here in the computer. First of all, I'm going to just just wait. I'm going to place this transmitter near this. Actually, this is very sensitive. This microphone is very sensitive. It can even um, take this sound. Okay, I will demonstrate it afterwards. Now, I'm just I'm gonna play a music that is there in. Mm, sample music. I'm gonna play this Kalimba music from. Um, Windows 7 so this is play 
fine. Now I'm going to show you how it gets received over here. See this. I'm taking this uh, earphone and placing it near the mic. Are you able to hear it? And see, over here when I change the frequency, and I place that in the seat, not there. cool okay just wait I will now okay now when I use this I will to hear it that his sound is actually of uh, you might have seen that when you use uh, a speaker near to a microphone, this squeal comes. And this is just like that on this is working as a speaker and that is working as a microphone. So, uh, hence it is better. say something in the microphone you can see you can see when I when I speak very near to the microphone it just my sound just cracks but so it is very sensitive when I'm a bit near my sound comes nice and cool fine now let's play different music of the uh, Windows 7 sample music it is made with the Flexion here. Now, I'm going to show you this. Oh, oh, sorry, I just messed up with the frequency. And one point two. Okay. Do you see that? Okay. Now I'm going to show you how sensitive is. my hand when I bring my hand near this antenna it gets the capacitance from my hand and the frequency drifts can you see this when I, when I touch then also drifts so this is because this is a very simple and very basic FM transmitter it does not have that, that part of circuit that isolates the antenna from the main circuit and the tank circuit now I'm going to show you how sensitive is that. Just I'm going to tap. Are you able to hear it? Okay, if you are not, 
I'm tapping it here. You must hear it. But actually, if you are not able to hear it, that means, and this must be because I'm using an earphone and I'm using this this one and I am placing this thing near to the microphone so that the sound from this goes to the microphone okay now if you want the circuit the semantics and uh, further tutorials I'll be making about how to make it uh, you just subscribe to my channel and to my video and just wait and uh, send me your questions and queries I will be glad to answer them and this is just a very basic trans as I said before transmitter uh, afterwards I will be making videos about how to make this thing and then we would make tutorials and we would uh, I would show you tutorials and we would now uh, and we would then make more uh, complicated or even you can say better FM transmitters that can that have a long range longer range and uh, it doesn't drift when the frequency doesn't get high bring my hand near to this okay fine thank you and see you again my phone transmitter thank you